PetSmart, sponsored by Covered California. It is the most popular social network and millions of people spend countless hours on Facebook, but can it be addictive? How do you know when you're in too deep? Lou Parker has some warning signs in tonight's Health Smart. Posting a picture, clicking a like. Millions do it, and now more and more who find themselves on Facebook are facing internet addiction. I was like, oh, I really need to stop. <laughs> 20-year-old Long Beach State student Carla Beltran admits the urge to update was overwhelming. Well, I wanted to say something interesting. And soon she was on it 24-7. Yes, before, before going to bed, like throughout the day and then before going to bed and in the morning as soon as I woke up. I've definitely seen people at the level of they've traded in their real life for Facebook. Psychiatrist Dr. Reef Kareem tells KTLA you have to watch out. Your ego can get you fast. It's a natural tendency to just go, oh, this is cool. People like this. People like me because I posted this. We all want to be liked. But when do you know there's a problem? If you're having a lot of mood changes associated with Facebook, like you go in Facebook with one mood state, and by the time you're done with Facebook, you're totally in a different mood. Well, that's a problem, and it can happen to anyone. One study suggests the more you're on, the better chance you will feel isolated, alienated, and even possibly depressed. That's because Facebook is not reality. It's what you've decided to filter and just tune up a little bit to put it on there. And so we're seeing usually people's best appearances when they go on Facebook. And that in turn leaves some people jealous and that's when self-esteem and validation issues arise. So to get back on track and health smart, Kareem suggests taking a one week break from the site. Journaling can also help. Figure out what you want from Facebook because the people that get really addicted to it are people that have no idea. And the best advice? Get a life. Go hang out with your friends instead of watching them from afar. You might just like it. Now, Dr. Cream also says in a relationship, if you're obsessed with what your partner is doing on Facebook, that could signal some issues with trust. And by the way, one hour on Facebook, that's okay a day. Any more than that? Not so much. For Health Smart, I'm Lou Parker, sending back to you in the studio. It's like the town corner.